boils down to this, folks, over in La Liga as Girona in second place. Take on top of the table, Real Madrid. Can, of course, the underdogs do it? We're going to take a little look. Next. <laughs> over in Espana, that's right. As, of course, Tabletop as Real Madrid take on their nearest and dearest, Jerome, that's right, in the, in the battle for the championship. It's, uh, it comes down to this, realistically. Forget your Barcelona, forget your Athletic Madrid. It's all down to this game. We're going to get into it all of it in a second. Of course, big, big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you knew where the hell have you been, smash your subscribe button. You want to stop shop for La Liga continues. Blab and Rovers, world football, right here under on roof. And please, do me a favour and smash that like button. Of course, it does wonders for the channel, does wonders for this video, gets, of course, the eyes out there, and, of course, we can make for a better community heart right here over at Blackburn Rose So let's get into it, of course, look forward, or look back first before we look forward to the next round of games. These are the last games, of course, see my picks, then we'll go into the Super Bruce, see how you guys got on, but let's get into it with, of course, a recap. Uh, Bill Bauer with a 4-0 winner of Mallorca, the picks are on the right. Actually, the results on the right, my picks on the left. Bilbao, 4 0 winners over Mallorca. I went with a 2 1 win. Uh, Valencia with a 2 1 win over Almira, 2 0 win in my eyes. Granada, Las Palmas, 1 1. Got that one spot on the nose. Barcelona with a 3 1 win over Alaves. I went with a 3 0 win on that one. Girona and Sociedad, 0 0 in my. In, it was the real deal there. Uh, I went with a 2 1 win for Girona. Of course, I. I I went against my boys there, but of course, Sociedad uh, grind out a result there. Meanwhile, Villarreal with a 0-0 draw against Cadiz. 2-0 win in my eyes. Osasuna uh, lost to Celta Vigo. Big win for Benitez there. 3-0 win on the road there. Uh, I'm with a draw myself. Real Betis with a draw against Getafe. 1-1. I'm with a 2-0 win for Betis. Real Madrid with a 1-1 draw against Atletico Madrid. Uh, of course, 3-2 win in my eyes. And Sevilla with a 2-1 win over Valacano. I got that one spot on the nose, of course. Those were my picks, guys. What about, about the table? Well, the table looks like this right here, right now. Real Madrid are top of the table, 58 points on the board, with Girona in second spot. Of course, Barcelona uh, are in third. They're not completely out of it. Real and Atletico Madrid, of course, uh, on 48%, uh, 48 uh, points at the moment. Meanwhile, going down, Cadiz, Granada and Almira, of course. Uh, those are the state of play in the table right now. But what about the state of play with the Super Brew? Well, let's, of course, jump into that and see how you guys are getting on. Of course, don't forget, I have, I have unfortunately resigned my status because I was just too criminally too good uh, at this one uh, uh, not really uh, my travels got, got ahead of me uh, but of course this is the state of play Teya B uh, 786 with 12.5 points this past round Alex Weller up there in second spot Kevin up there as well 377 Russell uh, of course Frosty there uh, and then chasing pack of course Zandus as well take a look at it if you do see a name in there guess what you have to pay the, pay the piper here smash that like button guys you've done you've done yourself a massive uh, favour there by uh, by doing bits of course uh, so please like the video uh, Russell Frost still kicks ass here with 242 points at the top of the table Costas K closing in on him a little bit there with with of course uh, uh, 228 points uh, James Beast obviously not too far away 37 Macker as well and then the chasing pack of course Hansworth with the wooden spoon but he's still just outside the top 10 again we can all we can get into this a little bit more of course uh, next week so jump in it uh, get involved and of course see how you get on next time around speaking of next time around we're going to jump right into those games right here Right now, as we look forward to these games uh, coming at you this coming week, uh, kick it all off on Friday, February the 9th with Cadiz against Real Better. So let's waste no more time, jump into it and have a go then, shall we? Of course, these two sides have played each other 15 times, done four, two wins for Cadiz, seven wins for Real Betis, and six draws, of course, the biggest win for Cadiz. Two nil wins, scored 15 goals in those 15 games. You can do the math on that one. Uh, meanwhile, Real Betis with a big four nil win there, biggest scoring 22 goals in 15 matches, 1.47 goals a game. Betis, though, just one defeat in the last four, 42% for them right now. They're eighth with 35 points right now Cadiz uh, eight, uh, 18 for the table 17 points on the ball 25% form for them haven't won in the last 12 matches now these two sides locked horns last at the Estadio Raman Di Carezza uh, it was a new new draw back in October 2022 but the bookies have 9-5 to five for your Cadiz 6-4 to four is your Real Betis 11-5 is of course the draw all eyes on this one 2-1 win for me for the Real Betis taking the points and moving the chains as well Alaves up against Real, uh, Villarreal on Saturday February the 10th now these two sides have played each other 27 times since 1996 14 minutes Alaves 11 wins for Villarreal, two draws. Of course, the biggest win for the hosts here. 5 1 wins, scoring 41 goals in 27 matches, 1.52 goals a game. Meanwhile, Villarreal, uh, what 
are they on right now? 5-2 win their biggest, uh, of course. 42 goals scored in two of matches. 1.56 goals a game, of course. Villarreal uh, on 33% form for them at the moment without uh, just one win in six for them. 14 for the table with 24 points on the board of up against the Alaves side. A 67% form for them right now. Four wins at the last six. 11th in the table, 26 points on the board. Of course, they are flying at the table right now. Of course, last time around, over at the Estadio de Mendoza, it was a 2-1 win for Alaves back in April 2022. Uh, of course, the odds right here right now with Alaves 23-20 for the victory 25 is the draw 23 to 10 is of course you fit around the bookies think it's quite even Stevens I'm going to go with Villarreal on this one against the form but perhaps uh, but maybe Villarreal will slowly click in the gear uh, meanwhile Sociedad against Osasuna coming out at the Real Arena played each other 44 times since 1993 23 wins for Sociedad 9 wins for Osasuna 12 draws of course the biggest win for Sociedad 5 near win scored 59 goals in 44 matches 1.34 goals a game up against Osasuna side 3-1 win the biggest 36 goals scored in 44 matches 0.82 goals a game of course Osasuna just one win in six 25% form for them right now 12th in the table 26 points on the board I guess the Sociedad side 67% form for them right now uh, I'm beating the last five they are six in the table 37 points on the board of course last time around over at the Real Arena in a competitive action it was a 3-0 win for Sociedad back in December 2022 but the odds here 65 on is Real Sociedad 5-2 the draw 10-3 is your Osasuna here of course we're going to back the host here and my boys 2-0 win for Sociedad to take it to the house Real Madrid against Girona is the game of the day it's the game of the weekend it's the game of the season at the Bernabeu, of course, but taking place on the 10th of Feb, of course, of Madrid. Girona have played each other nine times in 2017. Five wins for Madrid, three wins for Girona, one draw, of course. The biggest win for Real Madrid, 3 0 win. Scoring 25 goals in those nine matches, 2.78 goals a game. Girona, though, 4 2 win their biggest, scoring 16 goals in those nine matches, 1.78 goals a game. Girona on 67% form for them right now, just one defeat at the last 60 hours, second with 56 points on the board against the Real Madrid side, who are top with 75% form right now, 58% form, uh, 58 uh, points on the board right at the moment. Of course, this last time around, over at Real Madrid, of course, in the Bernabeu. It was a 1-1 draw back in October 2022. Now, these two sides have locked horns already in Girona. It was a 3-0 win for Real Madrid back in September. Uh, with the bookies for this one, we have Madrid 2-1 on for the victory. 11-2 is Girona. 16-5, of course, is the draw. I'm going with a 3-2 win for Madrid. Unfortunately, I'd love to see Girona win to really uh, put this, this title race right back on its head. Uh, but, of course, I don't think it's going to happen uh, at uh, with Madrid playing at home. Meanwhile, Las Palmas up against Valencia, of course, coming at you over at the Gran Canaria. Played to the 15 times since the year 2000. Four wins for Las Palmas, eight for Valencia, three draws. Of course, the biggest win for Las Palmas, 3-1 win. Scoring 15 goals in 15 games as a goal a game, of course, if you could do the math on that. Valencia, 4-0 win, the biggest 24 goals scored in 15 matches, 1.60 goals a game. Valencia on 67% form for them right now. Four wins in the last six. They're up to seventh right now. 35 points on the board against the Las Palmas side. Ninth in the table, 32 points on the board. Just one defeat in the last four. 42% form for them over the last six. Last round, though, over in the Gran Canaria, it was a 1-0 win for, Lens for uh, actually, it was a 2-1 win for Las Palmas. Palmas back in January 2018. Uh, the odds for this one, though, last Palmas 13 8 for the victory, 9 5 is Valencia 2 to 1. Is, of course, the draw here. Gonna go with a 2 1 win for the visitors. Valencia are cooking. That's right. Meanwhile, we kick on forward to Sunday, February the 11th. It's Getafe. It's Salta Vigo. It's at the Coliseum Alfonso Perez. Play each other 25 times since the year 2006. We've got nine wins for Getafe, seven wins for Vigo, nine draws, of course. The biggest win for Getafe, 3 0 win. Scoring 29 goals in 25 matches, 1.16 goals a game. Salta Vigo, though, 3 0 win, the biggest 24 goals scored in 23 matches, 0.96. Goals game. Celta Vigo on 42% form for them right now. Two wins of the last six. They have 60 for the day with 20 points on the board against Getafe side, who are 10th with 30 points on the board. 42% form for them right now. Just one win in five, though. Last round over in Getafe, it was a 1 0 win uh, back in May 2023. Of course, the bookies have Getafe 23 20 for the Richie 25, which is Celta Vigo, and 23 10 is the draw. Unfortunately, I'm going to back the, uh, the Getafeans here with a 2 0 win over Vigo. Come on, Rafa. Upset the odds on this one. Meanwhile, Mallorca against Valacano coming at you also Sunday, February the 11th. Uh, played each other 27 times in 1997. 15 wins for Mallorca, 80, uh, 8 wins for Valacano, 4 draws, of course. The biggest win for Mallorca, 4 0 win. Scoring 42 goals in 27 matches, 1.56 goals a game. Valacano, though, 3 1 win the biggest, scoring 26 goals in those uh, 27 matches, 0.96 goals a game. Valacano, though, without a win in 5, they, of course, they are 25% form, 13 for the deal, with 24 points on the board. Mallorca, though, 50% form for them right now, 1 2, lost 2, and drawn 2 over the last 6, 17 for the table, 20 points on the board, just 1 win in 4, though. Kicking on forward, uh, they played each other last uh, back in June 2023 it was a 3-0 win for Mallorca uh, at their own gaff they're actually unbeaten against Valacana over the last four matches two wins two defeat, uh, two draws as well the odds here 13-10 is Mallorca 2-1 is the draw 12-5 your away win here I'm going with a 1-1 draw here point apiece 
<coughs> Not sure who's going to be happier on that one as well. Sevilla up against Atletico Madrid. Another Zing Zong affair coming at you over at the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan. They played each other 64 times in 1983. 21 wins for Sevilla, 20 wins for Atletico, 21 draws. Of course, the biggest win for Sevilla, 4 near win. Scoring 79 goals in 64 matches, 1.23 goals a game. Atletico, though, 6 1 win the biggest, scoring 92 goals in those 64 matches, 1.44 goals a game. On 92% form, um, Atletico right now, 4th in the table with 48 points on the board, of course. Sevilla, 42% form for them right now. 15 for the table, 20 points on the board. They haven't, uh, they've the last 10 matches at home, they've yet to pick up a win. Uh, so, uh, bear that in mind. Last time around, they're over at the Ramon Sichuan Pizmez. It was a 2 0 win for Atletico back in October 2022. Uh, Atletico, of course, unbeaten against them over the last six games, of course, including a friendly in there. So, well, enough I said about that, the better. Uh, 11 4 is just severe. Even Stevens is Atletico. 2 to 5 is the draw. That's the bookies on this one. Gonna go with a 3 0 demolition job for Atletico Madrid uh, to, of course, close in on the top two. Uh, into the final two we go now is Barcelona up against Granada coming at you on Sunday, February the 11th. Played to the 20 times in 2011. 14 wins for Barcelona, third, three wins for Granada, three draws of course. The biggest win for Barcelona, six near wins scoring 50 goals in those 20 matches. 2.50 goals a game. Granada though, two near win the biggest scoring 18 goals in 20 matches, 0.90 goals again. Granada on one win in the last six. 25% forward for them right now. 19th in the table with 12 points on the board. Against the Barcelona side who are third 50 points on the border, of course, right now. 6% for them as well, heading into this one. Uh, last time around, over at uh, the uh, Stadio Olympic Luis Companies, it was a... Uh Oh, that was that's Barcelona's second stadium, I guess. It was a 1-1 draw back in uh, September 2021. The odds for this one... We have Barcelona 92 on for the victory. 5 to 1 is the draw. 10 to 1 is your long shot. It's Granada. We're going to go with a 2 0 with Barcelona. Uh, and of course, change those record books a little bit. Meanwhile, Almira against Bilbao will wrap it up on Monday, February the 12th. These two sides have played each other 15 times in 2007. Two wins at Almira, 10 wins at Bilbao. Three draws, of course. The biggest win for Almira. 3 1 wins, scoring 13 goals in 15 matches, 0.87 goals a game. Bilbao, though, 6 1 win the biggest, scoring 34 goals in 15 matches, 2.27 goals a game. Bilbao, though, on 75% form for them right now. Just one defeat in the last six. They are fifth with 45 points on the board against Almira. Side. Of course, 8% form for them right now. Rock bottom, 20 for the table, just 6 points all season. They haven't won the last 13 matches, uh, of course. And, of course, last time they played over at the Estadio de los Yogos Meretaronos. It was a 2-1 win for Bilbao back in April 2023. But the odds right here, right now, we've got Almira 7-2 for the victory. 4-3 on is, of course, your Bilbao. 11-4 is the draw, of course. We're going to go with Bilbao. 2-1 win. Another 3 points. Almira having a right old miserable season, and that will continue none the same. Those, of course, are my pickaroos, of course. And if I'm right, this is what the table will look like. Of course, it will look like this. Madrid top the table with a five-point clearance over Girona. Of course, Madrid close uh, Barcelona closing in on them as well to make a push for that second spot. And uh, uh, Madrid make the top the top four. Going down, Cadiz, Granada, and Almira. And of course, it looks pretty tight between those, uh, well, at least between, between Cadiz and. Uh, and uh, Sevilla and Sarvigo. So Sevilla could still get sucked into that. Who'd have thunk it, of course. Uh, that's my take on it, guys. Make sure you get your own take on it with, of course, the Super Brew still wide open and get involved with all that. But until then, guys, be safe out there. Subscribe, and of course, catch you for the next one, whatever that is. But until then, we're done.